just here to do a wee quick sweet art. So, yep, let's get right into it. Um, so Seamus recommended this to me to kind of do like part phoenix, part burr. He's actually in the call here. Um, I just called him there now. And, you know, it, I think, in my opinion, it's going good. Oh, I see. I didn't like that. Okay, I really don't know how to use a program. There we go. So, yeah, we just try and get this done quite quickly. I'm just going to do something quite basic. I'll probably make a better one in the future. And yeah, so. Do you want, why not? Let's let's go all out. Oh, okay. Wait, did not mean that. Let's create like a kind of like a muscle joint. Um, here. I think that's quite small for the proportion of the bird. But I'm kind of going for kind of like a phoenix pheasant, I don't know, pigeon, I don't know, leave me alone. So yeah, I'm kind of going for the bird look. So yeah, so time to get into the color uh, back there. Let's uh, make this a wee bit bigger. 12 sheet day. Um, now, the real trick on this is basically to turn down the opacity level. Darken your color and go where you want the shade. And then if you don't like the shading, you can just undo it and try again. Or, you know, you could try like a different technique. Like, but that's the one that I like to use. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. So once again, as I say, it's pretty basic. I just using a Wacom tablet and I'm going over it. So if I just darken that color a wee bit. And a new possibly level. You can see like a darker shade coming in. I'm not the best with shading to be honest. I, I do. Most people do say I'm quite good, but you know, it's other people that usually motivate you and stuff to go on to better things. So, yep. Thank you for whoever's ever done that in my life. Um, as I think it really ha has helped my art and stuffs. So yeah, um, I don't know. You probably just color it in grey. I'm just gonna be really lazy and just do that. So yeah. Um, I do want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.